Hey you guys, it's Sonia. Um, I just want to come on real quick to say thank you, thank you, thank you for the kind um, responses and comments to my video from last night slash this morning. Um, my little rant video. <laughs> That, you know, honestly, it was a long time coming. It's not from anything, um, well, yeah, it kind of is, but I'll just say it was a long time coming. And, um, like I said, you know, you see things and, you know, I don't speak on it. I just watch things unfold and I just figure, hey, as long as they leave me alone, I'm in my lane. But when stuff consistently happen, and that's like with anything, you know, eventually you're going to have enough and you're going to speak up and you're going to say something. So that's pretty much what that was. So I appreciate all the kind words. I appreciate the support. Um, I'm glad that, you know, a lot of you like my content. You feel that it's helpful. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that it resonates with you. And that's, you know, it's so important to hear that because then that's how you know that you're on the right track, that you're um, putting out the right content. And like I was telling my fellow YouTuber Fatima, you know, stay the course, the followers will come. And, you know, if it's slow and steady, so be it. Um, at least you know that... Um, when you stay true to yourself and you're putting out the content that you want to put out, um, you can feel good about that at the end of the day, that you're being yourself and you're putting out good, informative um, content. And that's all that I strive to do. That's all I want to do is put out content that is going to help someone. Not so much, hey, follow me and do exactly what I do. No. I want to give you, you know, the pros and cons and the research, you know, that shows, you know, what's good for you, what's not so good for you, but whatever you decide, that's totally up to you. And there, there are still ways to keep your health, hair healthy. There are still ways if you decide to color your hair, there are things you need to do to keep that colored hair healthy. Conditioning, moisturizing, all those things will help. So, you know, I'm not that cut and dry person. Don't do that, it's bad. Unless it's dealing, it, you know, unless it's dealing with something, you know, that really truly is and you there's no other way to, to say it. Like, it is bad, you can't sugarcoat it. Like, drugs are bad. That's not something you can sugarcoat. Um, but we all have decisions. We all have free will. And whatever we decide, that's up to you. That's up to us. Um, I just like the more natural approach. That's my lane. And yeah, you know, color isn't quote unquote natural. But if that's what you like, do it and do it in the safest way possible and make sure you're doing things to keep that colored hair healthy the best way you know how. Um, speaking of, I think Lorna, <laughs> hey Lorna. Lorna, you brought up a good th a point about the um, those weird natural hair people that are on Facebook and other platforms there was this one chick I do not remember her name but when I say she was like a cult leader she truly was this chick had rules that it was like posted on her page and she would constantly repeat them and remind people that if you don't follow her way her regimen and if you question her or you talk against her, she first yells at you and then she kicks you out the group and then she blocks you. And she blocks you from all of her pages. 
Um, I don't know if she was ever on YouTube, but she was definitely on Facebook. And I think she had a, um, a WordPress blog. And she would block you from that too. Like I didn't follow her on WordPress. I'm on WordPress, but she was just crazy. And her admins were just as crazy. And she did have this cult-like following who just lived off of every word that she said. And, you know, she was a natural hair um, person. She didn't believe in protective styling she didn't believe in um, so many things. She was just weird and crazy. I found a lot of people like that on Facebook. And that's why I had to just get away from all those groups. Like I removed myself. You know, any group that tries to control what you say and control your opinion and stop you from voicing your opinion when you don't agree with something, that's not the group for me. Everybody should be able to voice their opinion in a respectful way. And um, if you're doing so in a, in a respectful way and you're doing so in a way that adds to the conversation and kind of makes people think, how could you have something against that? Like, why is that wrong all of a sudden? And you kicking people, you know, out the group because they're not drunk off your Kool-Aid. Like, I've deleted myself from so many natural hair groups. That's why now I don't follow many. I'm in maybe one or two natural hair groups now on Facebook. And then as far as locks, I started my own lock group, but then I'm also part of maybe five groups at the most. And I follow different ones because, you know, I like traditional locks. So I follow, uh, most of the groups I follow are traditional lock groups. I don't follow sister lock groups anymore because I don't have sister locks anymore. So... I follow mostly like micro lock groups and um, traditional lock groups. And I think maybe even one free form because I just think free form locks are just so interesting. So, and that's pretty much it. I've, I've really kept it small into a minimum because you come across a lot of these groups. It's a lot of toxic behavior. It's a lot of toxic bullying um behavior and it's just not cool hang on one second oh never mind so yeah it's you know you just kind of live and learn and you find your tribe and you just kind of stick with that tribe and I don't like bullying I don't like um condescension I don't like groups that just constantly put each other down and um, in the lock world, I find that people really, really, they're no different than the loose natural hair world where they want you to follow their hard and fast rules. You, your, your locks got to be like this and you can't put this in your locks and you got to wash your hair every day or every week. And then there's others who say, no, you shouldn't wash your hair, um, or you should only wash your hair once every three months or once every... Look, wash your hair when you feel like you need to wash your hair. If your hair stank, clean it. If it's dirty, clean it. I mean, come on. <laughs> I've gone back and forth. I've experimented with, uh, you know, going a month without washing my hair or whatever. And that didn't work for me because I have dandruff issues and I just can't walk around with, you know, a dirty scalp. I just can't. And I don't like funky locks or funky hair, period. Um, that's just an 
individual thing. People have their own theories on why you should or should not wash your hair and what it does to your locks and what it does to your scalp, but everybody's scalp is different everybody's hair is different and not everybody can go those long periods of time without washing their hair or um deep cleaning their hair and their scalp with a clarifying shampoo um so that's an individual thing um, one thing I do want to talk about real quick before I end this video is I think it's very important to to be a supportive supportive um, follower. You know, I follow other YouTube people and people follow me, and I'm really trying to make an effort to. Um, be more supportive, especially of those who also have YouTube pages. Um, I'm horrible at it, but I'm really trying to make an effort to do better. One, um, one of the easiest ways that you could be supportive is to like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you find a YouTuber whose content you enjoy, you want to keep following them, the best thing you can do is to like their, their content, like it, like the video, comment, be engaging, be supportive, say positive things. If you have something to positive to say, if you have constructive criticism, be kind with it, be respectful. You don't have to be nasty with it. If you have questions, again, be kind, um, be respectful. You don't have to be nasty with it. Um, be engaging. Trust me, YouTube creators enjoy engagement. They love having that interaction. At least I do. Um, and then try to be consistently supportive. And you can do that by clicking that bell so you can get those reminders when they've uploaded a new video. And you can tune in and watch. And again, show that support. Like it. Comment. Share it. You know. So again, this is something I'm really trying to do better at and also hey shout out your fellow youtubers um so other people can know who they are and they can watch their fabulous content and learn something you just never know what people like or you know shout them out every once in a while and direct them you know to other channels so they can um have support and um grow their channels too so you know for those who comment on my videos i try to make an effort to click on your your icon and follow your channel if you're an active youtuber um even if you don't have any content i'm gonna follow you because i appreciate you following me so that's something i'm really trying to make um a better effort at doing is being more supportive to my fellow youtubers and to my followers who may or may not be youtubers too i want to follow you as well so comment below if there's someone that you want me to follow or you think i should check out put down their handles so i can go find them follow them and support them too if you're a fellow YouTuber and I may just not know about it, but you follow me and I'm not following you, let me know. Be like, hey girl, Sonia, follow me. I'm a YouTuber too. Let me know because I want to follow you. I want to support you the same way you support me because I appreciate you and I want to reciprocate that support. So thank you all again. Thank you for the kind words. Thank you for the support. I so appreciate it. Um... I'm going to keep being me and you keep being you and let's spread the love, show the support and um, just be nice, be kind to each other. So like, comment, subscribe, share. Thank you again for watching. Take care. I hope everybody is healthy and doing well. I hope your families are healthy and doing well. And um, I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.